Okay, for our next competitor research tool, we're going to look at SpyFu, and for our example here, we're going to switch domains and we're going to look at SiteGround. Um, I like SiteGround as an example because they're not uh, super large like GoDaddy, nor super small, and they've got a good mix of organic and pay-per-click activity. Uh, so just a little bit of background on SpyFu. Um, I have been using SpyFu for quite a while under their free plan which means you can come in, put in a URL, and get limited data. I love that data even though it's limited because it gives you a really good quick snapshot of a URL. Uh, recently, and I would say, I don't know, maybe six months ago, I started to subscribe to the service because I was doing more and more education and more um, in-depth SEO projects. So um, while I subscribe to it and pay a monthly fee, you don't necessarily have to. You know, it is great if you want to do so, um, even if it's just for a short time, if, you know, if, as you're, if you've got an active SEO project, um, but you don't necessarily have to. So while this, again, is a premium tool, please don't feel like you have to pay for it. There's a lot of great overview information that you can get right from the free tool. Um, but if you do find it helpful and you think that the, the additional data is available, sign up for a month and just, you know, see if you really enjoy the, the, the per premium version as much as I do. Okay, so enough of that. Uh, let's, let's move into the actual data. So when you come into SpyFu, all you have to do is just drop in the URL up in the box, and it's going to bring you up some information on this overview tab. And then there's a number of other tabs that um, we'll, we'll look at it briefly, because um, some of them I just, I find a lot of better information in the summary than the details uh, when I'm doing a review of multiple competitors. And I typically start gathering high level data, and then I drill down to those competitors that are of, of um, significant infants too to me. So um, this first screen, the overview, is where all the great data is because it's going to giving you an overview of the domain itself. So we can see that um, SpyFu has about 2,400 organic keywords that drive traffic of um, uh, quite, you know, quite a bit of traffic and the valued at a million dollars in, in um, revenue or I guess clicks. Um, it's hard, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out how they're going to actually figure that out, but it, pay per click is much more tangible because you can see it's related to an ads budget. So you compare their estimated um, organic traffic over here on the left over to their um, pay per click or their ads, and you can see that in the graph in the middle. And I like that it shows you over time because you can see trends if someone is trending up or down with both organic and pay per click spending. Um, this is where you can quickly get data on how long um, the domain has been around and in existence. Um, so then let's move down a little bit, and the next little box is a great one because it shows you that a thousand keywords just made it to page one and they lost 700. Don't panic when you see this kind of data. You're going to see fluctuations like this all the time in SEO. Um, it, where it would be a concern is if you see a competitor has this huge number of just made it to page one or a huge number that just fell off page one because now you're going to start to see maybe there's a red flag one way or the other. Uh, in my uh, course, you know, I'm telling you about not just looking at traditional competitors, but also looking at online competition because that can be much different than what you actually think your traditional competitors are. This is a great tool to find that because what this tool is doing is it's comparing um, the keywords that you're going after in your traffic with your domain over to your competitors. And so it's doing that with SiteGround to say, okay, so from for, you know, top competitors, who do they share keywords with? They're sharing keywords with Bluehost, um, InMotion, Hosting, HostGator, A2 Hosting, and DreamHost. And all of those are in the same type of um, price point as SiteGround. So that totally makes sense. And you can see where they overlap down here with this um, view as well. And it shows you both the shared for organic as well as pay-per-click. Um, you know, and, and this is where you're going to really find that good information on those online competitors. Um, now I start to like to look at the keyword universe. So keyword universe is, um, you know, what, what keyword opportunities do we have that this domain connects with? And then you're going to start to see in the more detailed reporting within SpyFu how they compete um, individually against with each URL. 
we can see top keywords and this is not this isn't always accurate um, you know some of them are just sometimes it just doesn't make sense but you're going to see that right away if it doesn't make sense um, but I have compared these to actual tracking data with Google Analy Analytics and Google Search Console and many times it's, it's really spot on um, so there's our top keywords for organic and over here are top keywords for um, for pay-per-click this one is interesting because uh, this is one that we saw them going after uh, in their in, in the actual website themselves um, okay I don't look at this at all top AdWord buys I don't really look at, at the AdWord history because I'm not a pay-per-click person um, you know I'm using this for for organic SEO research and so what I do use this for just basically is the top keywords and what are they trying to get with pay-per-click because then I know that they might be struggling ranking for that in organic search and we might want to go after that um, the, the organic history if there's a keyword here that makes sense to look at then you can kind of click on it and see what um, history is happening with it but otherwise I don't put much stock into that graph and I kind of um, don't pay much attention to it because it's just it's not going to give me a ton of information that I want um, so let's just jump back over here so this is an inbound link some of the um, some of the, the inbound links that SpyFu would like to highlight for you um, again you know there's this is a good tool for getting that information a refs which we're going to look at too is also a really good tool um, so, so again, the summary page provides a lot of great information, a lot of data points that I collect um, for the various vendors, but it's not, th this isn't just it. There's a lot more that we can look at. So if we um, click at another tab within SpyFu, we're going to get now to the section, second section. You see that there's lots of data underneath each one that we can go through, but this is just the overview in the second section. So now we start to see... Um, you know the, the trends at a at a smaller scale and I love this because you can start to see if there was a Google update and sometimes like I will come in here for um, either potential SEO clients or competitors and see a big dip and you're like what the heck and if you look down you'll see that of course there was a Google update that was ref that was corresponding to that time frame and they got whammy because they were doing something that was um, less than desirable in the eyes of Google I love this section here because it shows me uh, page one keywords versus almost their keywords versus pages two to five. Uh, when you're viewing this for your competitor or even yourself, so page one, you're already on page one, you have decent visibility, but this is this guy right here, 11 to 16, this is low hanging fruit. If this is your website, you know that you're already ranking somewhere on it, but you're not getting really good visibility. So if you could just optimize those phrases, you could quickly move to page one. You could quickly make a big impact on your SEO. Uh, the the um, gains and losses that we saw from um, that summary page, there's is a little bit more detail. I love this little section right here because it gives you a really good overview of the inbound links coming into the site. Um, you can see from this that a lot of them are coming from affiliate links versus blogs over here and then there's um, some from forums. When you're trying to do link building and you're struggling with thinking about where to get those from, this is a good source because you can see what your competitors are doing, where they're spending your time, and then potentially you'd want to spend that same amount of time. Um, again, the top competitors, you can change this. So say I wanted to not have um, A2 hosting change or I'd want to push them down and I want to add in WP Engine. So I can just put in that URL and add them in. And then it will give me that additional data point. Um, I could also go in and put somebody in like GoDaddy, which will add it in. And now you see that um, GoDaddy right there is this guy up here and now he's really skewed the data. And I can look at that and say, okay, well, this is challenging um, because there's such a variance. Now I can't really see the variance between the other guys. Um, so if you wanted to, we could take this back out and remove GoDaddy. And now we can start making more sense of the other ones. But again, this is really good information because I'm seeing traffic for all the, the different companies uh, over time and, you know, on a month by month basis. I can view this as the number of keywords. I can view this as monthly kicks or clicks or the value. Um, and you're going to see a really big difference in the data when you click on one from another. I mean, look at the Bluehost um, shoots way up, but if I go to clicks, it brings it down to a more normal level. But in this case, when we're looking at Bluehost, you see this low, we go way up, and then we start to come back down. You kind of want to wonder what's going on there, and you'd want to potentially dig into that a little bit deeper. 
Um, again, just really good information. Okay, so shared organic keywords. SpyFu is giving us who they think. We could certainly change this. So let's say we're going to go back over and we're going to put in GoDaddy in place. And then we can start seeing how how that changes the skew or that changes the data and starts to skew the results. We knew GoDaddy was a powerhouse. We knew that from looking at them with some of the other tools. So again, they're skewing our results. So let's take them back out. Let's say we want to look at WP Engine instead. And now we can put WP Engine and we can start looking at that. And we can see that from a keywords perspective, um, WP Engine doesn't compete that much with SiteGround. So let's take them out and let's go to HostGator, which is owned by the same company as Bluehost. Now we start to see more overlap. Um, so again, just really good, really good data. Um, so you, you have reports down here with most valuable. Uh, newly ranked, um, losses, etc. But I can actually drill down further. So maybe I want to see a more detailed report of SiteGround's most valuable keywords. And this is based on what SpyFu seem. There's that guy that we know that they're trying to rank for. Um, and I can come and I could change it to any of these other reports if I wanted to. Or I could look further into this data right here. Um, but, you know, we can see that they're currently ranked number seven in Google, according to SpyFu. They've moved up two positions. The average cost per click uh, with pay-per-click is $12. It's got a difficulty ranking of 76, which is, you know, it's, pre it's pretty up there. It's pretty competitive. Um, there is 1,000 estimated clicks per month coming to it, and the actual searches per month overall is 40,000. So this, just, this means that... Um, SiteGround, based on their ranking, would, would capture 1,000 of that available 40,000. Really, really good information from a competitive standpoint. Um, I like this because it gives you um, details and really quick to say, okay, well, this is 78. Maybe I don't want to go after that. Maybe I'd want to go to a 58, which is uh, easier to rank on. 58 is still pretty competitive, but just kind of gives you a quick, a quick overview. Um, what's best about this is that I can do an export. I can come over here and just export it quickly to Excel or PDF. And I can do that in a lot of these reports. Really powerful for building up a seed list. Really powerful for deep diving your competitors. And that's why I say if you are doing an SEO project or a really you know in-depth review of competitors, it'd be worth spending a month for this software so you could get these exports and, and grab that data. Um, okay, so moving on a little bit, we still have some in good information available that's outside of organic because we can see pay-per-click activity as well. So we can see that the average spend currently for SiteGround is $19,000 per month. Um, if we look at their budget, we can click over here. There's that $19,000. We can see at one point they're up to $23,000. Um, now let's take that and let me scare you to death by showing you GoDaddy spend. You're going to see that it's just mammoth. Okay, so GoDaddy spend per month for pay-per-click. Currently it's about $500,000. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. They apparently have the money. That's why I love SEO because SEO is free. It's just sweat equity. Um, so, again, you know, top paid competitors, similar to the data that we saw um, over on the other um, tab that was showing organic, but this is now just for pay-per-click. We can see GoDaddy's words that they're paying for. Um, and again, I like these because these words show what they're struggling to rank for, which means their opportunity is still for you. Um, I don't ever think you can't rank for a keyword. I just think that you have to pick and choose which ones are most important, and that includes both someone's pay-per-click as well as their organic keywords. Okay, so another piece of data that I love within SpyFu is the SERPs page, which is the search engine's results page. So I put this in for the phrase web hosting, which is something that we knew that SiteGround was looking for and trying to rank on. Difficulty ranking 76. We saw some of this data over on the other screen, but now it's starting to show me who's all on page one for this. Uh, you can see the domain. You can see the exact URL. You can see the domain strength. So, um, you know, domain strength, a stronger domain is going to be closer to 100. A weaker domain, meaning they don't have as much clout, they would be closer to zero. Um, and then the estimated clicks. So, and here's where that domain strength it, it matters. 
If you're trying to go up against Wikipedia, which has a domain strength of 100, they're going to be tif more difficult to beat, and you need to take that into account. If I look at somebody like um, b2evolution.net, they've got a domain strength of 64. They would be potentially easier to beat because SiteGround has a 66. If I'm at Gook, if I'm GoDaddy and I have a domain strength of 76, I'm even in a better position than SiteGround. Um, so just, you know, some good information, just like those other reports, you can export this and have this as a takeaway for you. Um, if you're working with clients, it's, it's the, these reports can be very good information for them as well. Um, so the final guy is backlinks that I, I look at, but I don't put a ton of information here um, because I don't chase backlinks. I just, I believe in traditional marketing and traditional marketing, bringing in those backlinks through doing goodwill and goodness for your community. Um, but we can just kind of see the breakout again, like we saw on that first page, affiliates, forums, government, directories. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the thing to note here is if you were to find um, a domain that had a lot of activity and a lot of inks or links, and you might want to um, target them for uh, link building to maybe either, maybe you see somebody's got a partnership or it's an affiliate relationship that you should you know try to bring them in as an affiliate you could use this information for those purposes um, but you know but then other than that I, I don't pay much attention to it the, and again the real big meat of this is the overview page um, the overview of SAR research the pay-per-click overview and then some of those top keyword reports um, for both pay-per-click as well as organic those are where you're going to get your most information or the most information for competitive reviews and where you're going to really want to compare one vendor to another because once you have this data you're going to be able to see who truly is a top competitor who's a weak competitor um, who you have to kind of watch out for and see what other tactics they're doing to bring in all of that traffic and all those keyword opportunities um, and who is is you know if in the case of traditional vendors who might you not need to worry about at all because they're really really weak um, with SEO and online marketing so hopefully that helps I, I wish you great success as you dig into SpyFu and use it for your competitive research